Shopify for nonprofits. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can use Shopify as a nonprofit organization. So make sure to check that link in the description box down below to get started with Shopify today for free. So if you're running a nonprofit organization, you might be wondering, what do I need a Shopify store for? Well, there are so many reasons you still need a Shopify store. Not only do you need a Shopify store, but you also need a website. So Shopify can do both of these things for you. And the reason that I would suggest to create a Shopify store when you're looking to create a website for your nonprofit organization is because Shopify will allow you to give different rewards to people that are interested in donating to your organization or donating to your nonprofit. And this is something that I find to be a very useful feature and that you're going to be able to monitor and get good analytics and reporting on your store as well. So this will also enable you to see what kind of people are most frequently donating to your organization and what kind of customer behavior or what kind of behavior are the people showing that are constantly donating to your organization and you can customize and reward those people as well. So what I like to do is when I am creating a store, I would usually suggest to people to start off with products, but when you are creating a website for or a e-commerce store for a organization what i like to suggest for people to do is go on to your online store section first then go on to your navigation then once you're on your navigation you can see over here that you have your main menu and your footer menu so you're just going to click on main menu over here and then you're going to add or edit your um, menu items so we're going to delete the contact ones and you can just delete all of them and then restart from scratch but i'm just going to click on add menu over here and i would just usually copy um donate to us something like that and then we're just gonna add the product section over here and you might be wondering why am i adding products to the donate to us section well in your product section you're actually going to have all of your products are going to be present over here so what this will enable you to do is you can add different like small goodie bags or whatever kind of rewards you have for the people that donate to your organization and they can just simply click on donate to us and they're, they're going to find that they're going to get small rewards for donating to your organization so you're just going to click on add over here then you can add another menu on how you can help something along those lines I'm gonna add that over here on my navigation menu as well and the reason that i focus more on the navigation menu when i'm creating a website for a nonprofit is because your navigation menu is going to lead the people around so they need to understand what kind of organization this is and why they should be donating so that is why the navigation plane is the most important thing because it's going to appear on the top and it's going to be the first thing that they lay out eyes on so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add a pages section so you can write a paragraph or if there are blogs about your nonprofit, you can add those as well but i don't find those to be really that helpful and this is a sample so i'm just going to go with pages over here and then you can just go back and create a separate page for this specific purpose now you can add a bunch of blog posts as well but I'm just going to go on to the pages section and I'm going to add the contact page. How can you help? And then I add another menu item called contact us. And then I'm going to add a exclamation mark. And then I'm just going to add pages and then I'm going to add the contact section over here. And I'm just going to click on add over here. And now I'm just going to click on save menu. Now this is going to be the basic navigation bar for my e-commerce website or my actual nonprofit organization website. Now on the footer menu, I only have the basic search. Now for filters, you're actually going to remove these uh, default filters that are usually going to be set already on your website. So you need to remove those. Make sure that you're removing those unless you want it to appear like you're actually running a store rather than a nonprofit. Now, once you have done that, you can go on to the pages section over here and you can see you only have one contact page right now and you can click on add page over here. And you know the title that I just created, How You Can Help. So I'm just going to create another page called How You Can Help. And you can add, you know, however people can help out on your organization. And you're just going to save that over here. And obviously, you're going to go back into your navigation. 
you're going to click on the main menu and you're going to link this page to your how you can help section now you can create as many pages as you want so you can tell people about the organization you can add a about us page you can add a memoir page you can add a page showing all of the previous work that you have done for this organization or all the previous work that this organization has been doing for people and after you have done that you're just going to go on to themes and this is the feature that i love the most is that they provide such easy to use templates so if you're running a nonprofit, I'm pretty sure you don't have anyone on board that is pretty skilled in HTML or anyone that has enough spare time to create a separate website. And Shopify really makes this easy for you. So all you need to do is scroll down, go into the theme library, and you're just going to click on explore free themes over here. And you can choose any theme template out of all of these templates to get started with your nonprofit website. So I'm just going to click on customize over here. Now you can see now this is a basic little theme that I edited previously, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to first off remove these excess sections. So to remove a section, you just need to click on the section and then on the bottom left, you have the remove section option. You're going to remove those and you might be wondering, it says pro photographers on the top. How do you change that? I'm going to show you guys later on. How do you change the store name? Because you don't do it from the website editor over here. You have to do that separately. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this image with text and I'm just going to change the um, image over here. I'm just going to click on change image. I'm going to go on free images and I'm just going to go on and search for kids. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add this image like this. And then I'm just going to click on select. Once I have selected the image, I'm just going to change the heading or the tagline like so. I'm just going to scroll down and see if this looks all right. Now it looks pretty decent, but I find that this tagline is a bit too long. So I'm just going to change this to help those you can like so. And this looks pretty decent to me. The sizing is a bit off, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep the image ratio. Actually, even without the image ratio, it seems pretty decent. So I'm just going to continue with this. Now, after I have done that, I have this featured product, uh, which I'm also going to remove. Now you can see over here, this is just like the basic homepage. Now, after my homepage, I can just go onto the product section or the overall navigation of my website, whatever it might be. So I'm just gonna go over here and I can go onto the product section. I have default products, but I've removed those. So I'm just gonna go back and I'm going to scroll down. And you can see that these are the different template pages, but I have custom theme settings. So those are going to be edited accordingly to what I have created in previously just what I did in the settings uh, right before I went over here. So after that, I'm going to add my section. So it could be a page, it could be featured collections, or it could be custom content. So you can talk about your brand. You can definitely add like a confession or something along those lines about what kind of work your organization has done. So you can add those on your first page as well. So I'm just going to save this for now. And now I'm going to show you how you can actually change the name of your uh, website. So for that, what you're going to do is you're just going to go back and exit over here. You're going to go down into your settings on the left. You're going to click on settings. And then you're just going to click on edit over here. And then you can change your store name. So whatever your nonprofit name is. So it could be homes for little ones. And we're just going to save that over here. And now once I have saved it, it is going to be changed. So I'm just going to click on Shopify over here. And you can see that it is now homes for little ones. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back. And I'm just going to go back onto my online store. And you can obviously customize it accordingly. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go on Actions. I'm going to click on Preview over here. Now... For a few things that you might want to change is definitely remove this section because you don't want this to be like a shopping platform. And what you're going to actually do is you're going to go onto products now. This is the section that I find that you just need to do a little bit of work on is you're just going to click on add product over here and you could name it like um, t-shirt and then it could be obviously for your nonprofit and in the description you can talk about 90% of profits go or you can obviously this is a non-profit so 100% of profits go into helping these kids out or whatever kind of description you want for your product and then you're going to click on active product 
then you're going to scroll down and add a specific price so it could be ten dollars and then you're just going to click on save over here and now your little product has been added as well once you have started adding your products you can add a catalog or a donate to us section and then you can link these products to your donate to us section so if i go on to the online store and if i just go scroll down and i just saved this so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to click on publish i'm going to click on publish over here and now this has been published so what i'm going to do is you can see now this is active now i'm just going to go into my settings click on my shopify store and i'm going to cross this out now this is just like a basic preview so this is how easy it is to create your website and your own donation form on your nonprofit website using shopify make sure to click the link in the description box to get started with shopify today and hit that like button and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video